Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of XCOM Chimera Squad. We were just about to move on to this story mission here. Let's see what's going on. There's a wall, so that's a great thing to bring uh, Claymore on. Three encounters, not a huge surprise. And uh, what do we have available to give away? No weapon mods. An Adrenal Weave and a Mock Weave. An auto key card and some Trank Crowns. Okay. That has not helped me very much with deciding how to distribute it. Um, I can buy enhanced pistols, but I can't yet buy enhanced grenades. Uh, grenades is the wrong word. I meant shotguns. Which is what I would like on this mission since we have Godmother and Claymore. I bought a pistol back when Cherub was doing a lot of work, but... I mean, Blue Blood shoots his pistol twice, so upgrading it is twice as good. Um, that might be worth doing, I don't know. I'm kind of inclined to just save for the, the shotgun upgrade, but that's not coming in for a couple days. Yeah, let's just take the pistol upgrade. I should have done it last mission. Whatever. Anything else here I want? Not really. Blue Blood already has... Yeah, he has that advanced stock, so it doesn't leak. This is useful because his shots actually apply disoriented, so this way we don't miss out on that. Giving him the mock weave seems fine. He does a lot of moving around, so being able to dodge is good, I guess. Okay. I like his setup, I guess. I can give him a mock weave as well? Sure. Give him trank rounds, why not? The shotgun just just get put to sleep by my lovely shotgun pellets. Terminal doesn't need a key card. Um, I guess give it to Claymore? Kind of silly, but nobody, everyone else already has an important um, breach item. So, well, I guess what I should do then is uh, Claymore doesn't really need this. Godmother, she's happy to have a breaching charge, but she would be just as happy with a key card. Whereas Terminal doesn't need a key card, but she would be happy to have a breaching charge. So I think that's slightly better, in case we end up needing to bust through two walls this way. Alright. who work nearby reported powerful psionic activity coming from inside this chemical plant. When 3-1-PD followed up, they spotted progeny muscle bringing equipment inside. Dibs on bringing their fancy gear. You all heard me. I called it. Hmm. All right, so we're all going in through different, uh, different breach points this time. I think we want to give aim to someone with a shotgun. That just seems generally good. Let's give it to Claymore. He's got the trank rounds. And I'll put him kind of like late so he can maybe finish someone else, someone off with an unconscious. Uh, the person I want to have overwatch is probably Terminal. And therefore I'll have her go last. Um... extra dodge, I guess I would happily give to Blue Blood. Godmother can take the defense. Don't bunch up. Open sesame. We're breaking the same window twice just through the different panes. 
Okay. Alright, so this is blue blood, I guess. What do we have? We have this resonant... And what's his ability right now? I don't know. Is this blue blood? It must be. He's got the Lancer shot. So there's a, a Thrall there, a Resonant, an Acolyte. Over there is a Sorcerer, the main threat, I guess. And this Archon, I guess, also kind of a big threat. Um, well, we have a guaranteed kill on this guy, which seems good. Alpha Strike. This doesn't seem like the most threatening setup ever. Let's try to kill this Acolyte as well. Eh, it didn't quite. Who is this? Claymore? Sure, let's get some damage in on the Resonance. Nice critical damage. And I think we'll finish off this Acolyte here. Leaves us two pretty serious threats, but everyone else, all the, all the chaff is taken care of. I intentionally chose not to Alpha Strike. I don't remember if I mentioned this, but it's a thing I often forget, so I'd like to make that clear. And we're not evacking because there's more encounters. So I believe there probably is not... Um going to be any reinforcements this mission. So what we see is basically what we get. Are we in cover here? We are. Alright. So 95% with a normal shot or 81 with Deadeye? That's pretty low. But it would be really nice to just take this guy out, honestly, with a couple lucky Deadeyes. Did not disorient him. Uh, so I guess he must be immune to that. But good news, he's so damaged now that just an ordinary shot will guaranteed take him out, right? I can't see easily how much armor he has because this is in the way, but it's one. Um, yeah, let's just ice him. Good shooting, Blue Blood. And Godmother. I think it's worth getting right up in there for the for the flank, because the sorcerer mostly does mental stuff anyway, so the cover's not as important as it might otherwise be. Actually, this is even better because it blows up his cover for everyone else, and does just an absolute truckload of damage. Although, there's something that... I found out, I think, on a recent mission, right, that multi-turn cooldowns persist across encounters. Even though it seems stupid, like, why wouldn't you just wait a minute before busting down the door? I don't know. When I say it like that, it's like, well, because the criminals heard all the gunfire, right? So, uh, I think it's worth saving her ventilate for a situation where it's actually necessary. Changing early in the next encounter. Just go in for a perfectly reasonable shot here. And Claymore. Could he get the shrapnel bomb all the way down there? Not without moving. That's too bad. He could go here and still have the aim boost, I guess. Or go here and have the flanking, which is better, I assume. Oh, we're just lining up to get Null Lanced or whatever that thing is, right? This is only a 2 out of 3 to kill him. 1 out of 3, I mean. Oh, I could team up with Godmother, but that seems a little bit excessive. The other thing is I could try this Sticky Grenade. Force him to run away? I don't totally understand why I would do that. Oh! It would activate 
terminals overwatch. That's why. So we get the damage from the grenade, and then terminal also shoots him. That seems good. Four turn cooldown? Seems kind of lame. But I haven't used it in any previous missions, so it doesn't seem like it's super important to save, and now is a good chance to use it. Got him. <laughs> You're coming up on an open yard. Expect heavy resistance. So that took a bit less than one turn. Pretty good encounter. Um, successful shots will stun? Are you insane? Just bring everyone through here. Oh my god. And uh, I don't think I need the flash bomb yet still. Since everyone's going to be surprised anyway. Yeah, no one's injured. Fine. Okay. Opening a side door. Oh, look at him. He looks surprised. Amazing. Uh, all right, there's a codex over there. That's important. This acolyte is ruptured. I still have not found out what ruptured does. Let's look that up right now, shall we? Um, um, ruptured. That just tells that's just like psionic abilities call well this is stuff from XCOM 2. There's stuff that says, oh it does rupture. Amazing. Wow. What the friggin' heck is rupture? That's right, I fake swore twice. Um I don't know. Game won't tell me, so. I guess I'll never know. All right, that sorcerer and the codex seem to be the main threat, so let's get going on the codex. Ah, that's right. We want to dis um, distribute our shots because of the stuns. This seems like a good thing to shoot at. And you know what? Let's take the lancer shot since he is behind some cover, and it's good, especially good for shots to hit right now. Kind of like pretty, pretty bad. Uh, it's not trigger discipline exactly, but like I, I don't. I'm not a gun person, but it seems like shooting across your squad at an enemy is like bad technique. <laughs> um, yeah, so maybe it's more important to just get the stuns in than it is to try and finish anyone off. I feel a little bad about it. Oof. Seven. Rupture must be a thing that makes you take more damage. Because that can't do seven without a crit. I'd love to get that sorcerer, but I don't know. He might even be immune to mental effects. Who knows? Let's just try to get this thrall out of the picture. Didn't work. We, we stunned him at least. Stop the hostage taker. Hello? I can't do anything. I can't move the map. Uh, the, 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 the camera. Stop the hostage taker. Is that you? Are you going to try to evac? Should I shoot you? I don't understand what stop the hostage taker means. I don't see an evac point for them. So I think they can't leave, so anything will stop him? I'll try to subdue, of course. Speaking of, I could actually subdue a codex? That seems more productive than... Oh, I didn't... 
give Claymore a flashbang. That would have been a smart thing to do. Oh, no, I meant to... Oh, my God, the mouse moved. I wanted to be here. This thrall is next, so it would be nice to do something about that. Yeah, take that shot, I guess. I'd like to shoot and then move, ideally. As always. Um. Yeah, and I'm gonna leave the Resonant alone, let Godmother finish it, so that I can get up here to a more advanced position. For my Overwatch. Uh, so doing this guy from here keeps me in reasonable cover. This is high cover, but it's kind of easily flankable if someone just jumps through the window. I don't know. They're not going to, though. Arrested the target. Uh, what do I even do with terminal? Like, I could take a shot, but it's awful. I can pin him down, but it doesn't seem to do anything, like, I don't know, I guess we found out last time I tried to pin someone down, it just didn't show me. So let's do it and see what happens. Yeah, it did move him way down. Oh, I see. It showed me his old position and his new position. I thought it was giving me a preview of, like, his next two turns. I see. So it moved him down there, giving me basically three free turns. Also, the hostage taker is not appearing on a timeline, so I guess it just doesn't do anything. I don't really understand the rules yet. On the run! Yeah, just uh, come through here and shotgun him, I guess. Heading over there. Got your back. Oh, he's got good defense from ducking. Yeah, that's too bad. And indeed, the sticky grenade is still on cooldown. Fine. Shrapnel bomb. Might be better since it like is a guaranteed hit. But it makes it hard for me to position my agents. Yeah, I think I'll just shoot him. Well, I regret that. Oh no, I destroyed his cover. That's fine, I guess. Who is this? Blue blood, right? So right now we don't have a flank. So it's actually better to move and then shoot. Even though... It means I don't get to activate Overwatch. Headed this way. Oh, also, could I... No, I, I don't seem to be able to subdue this person, even though I'm quite sure I could move far enough to get there, so... I don't know what stop the hostage taker means, but it's not happening now. So that's a 65 to hit. That's a 56? I'll take the 56. Wow! What a freaking shot! That was insane! Alright, cool. Well, down you go, buddy. Hostile, subdued. That's a good encounter when the enemies take no damage, right? Or take no turns? Head to the industrial chemical storage. The progeny's equipment should be inside. All right, we just have a normal door here, right? And don't take deep breaths. Oh, gantry. What is a gantry? Is it like a catwalk kind of thing? 
Gantry is one of those words I don't know very well. Let me look up what is a gantry. Gantry. A bridge-like overhead structure with a platform supporting equipment, such as a crane, railroad signals, lights, or cameras. A movable framework for supporting and servicing a rocket prior to launching. Okay. So... It's not exact... It's like... It's like a catwalk, but for holding equipment instead of for people walking across. Sort of, maybe. Anyway, um... Seems like this is a time to use our breaching charge. And we might as well use the flash bomb at this point, it being the last... Uh... Encounter. For the same reason, we should use Alpha Strike. Fire in the hole! Oh wow, the floor. Amazing. Incredible. What nice cinematic coverage. <laughs> okay, here we are. Back to the game. Civilian was killed? Who did that? They, they were just hanging out by the wall? <sighs> There's a criminal operation here, you guys. You can't just hang out near walls. You never know what might happen to them. Alright, I was told all enemies near this entrance would be surprised. But I see this jerk right here is aggressive. So I don't really believe what I read. Um... I don't know. Let's go for that acolyte in the back there, or this resonant here. I'm not really sure what to do with her. Oh, nice crit, but it was still just four? No, he totally can use his lancer shot every, every breach. Don't really understand why. Why you have the option to not use it in that case. Maybe get that guy? The uh, policy of almost killing people during the breach seemed quite effective in the last episode. Uh, encounter. Alright, who is this? Claymore? Godmother? Not sure. Looks like Claymore. We could go for the Brute, but I think just taking out this Thrall who's aggressive is the best plan. Alpha Strike, and probably we want to make a bit of progress on this Archon. Good roll. Melee Stance? I wish it would tell me what it does. Looks like it's powering up. Take out their equipment. Destroy the device to stop reinforcements. Okay. The device looks like a nap chair. A nap pod. I guess it's not the chair. It must be this thing. But it seems really weird that you'd set up this chair just staring at that. Okay. Um, who do we have first? The terminal, right? Yeah. And on the enemy side, the Archon is first. Well, I can't take him out in time. But he might do something stupid, like set up that attack that takes a whole round to go off. Ooh, there's a codex we didn't see. Um... I don't have a flank here, huh? I could pin down somebody, like the codex maybe? And then take a shot at this resonant? Oh, he's going super late. The Archon and the Codex are next. Actually, a sufficiently lucky shot on the Archon would kill it. So that's worth considering, I guess. I still can't pin down, huh? I see. So maybe we safeguard somebody... I don't know who. Maybe myself? 
Actually, Godmother is in a position to get flanked by the Codex. Gremlin on the way. Thanks. And then I think I will just take a shot at this guy. It's pretty unlikely I would kill the Archon, right? Like, first of all, I have to hit, which is two out of three. And then I have to roll another one out of three. So that's like two out of nine, 22%. Not very likely. I'll just leave him for somebody with a bigger gun and try to take this guy out so we have fewer problems to deal with later. So when does that go off? On the Codex's next turn, I think. And this goes off on the Archon's next turn, which is fine. So I think I'll just move up here and shoot the Archon. And we'll just get out of the way of this stuff. Sorry, who has Overwatch? Oh, I, it's not Overwatch. It's just telling me this is dangerous in some way. In this case, because if you end your turn there, the uh, Psionic bomb will go off on you. Yeah, okay. So, this is four to five, but this is a, a like, actually a kill, right? Six to seven. Um, so, I'm gonna do this and then move. Alright, but just doing one. Also, it informed me that the. It's impossible to do zero damage even if the enemy has armor. So that was a good good learning experience. Now let's get moving. Rolling out. Go. Did I kill him? Nice. So now if I come here, Claymore can finish off the Archon pretty much guaranteed. Actually, could I finish him off guaranteed from here? No. I, mean, I guess it's not guaranteed. The Archon has some defense, but getting a real up close with a shotgun is a way to expedite things pretty effectively. Yeah. All right, here's Godmother, and she has a very long action coming. Um, we do want to get started on this thing, so I might have her come, like, just kind of ign Hello? Is that not cover? Really? Oh, you can just stand in the barrels? What? They sure look like cover to me. Okay. Um, so we could come all the- He has over- Oh, he has melee stance. Right, whatever that is. So we could come all the way up here. Be in reasonable cover, although somewhat flankable. Um, and get a shot at the Codex or the Machine, which I kind of like. And we can flashbang this area as well. Yeah. Come on over. Hello? Why won't she go? There we go. What? Oh! That used all three of her actions. It was such a far move. I, uh, should I have realized that that's what dashing meant? Huh. Okay, well we obviously want to get out of this. And I think reloading is better than anything else we can do. It's a big flank on Godmother. Okay, blue blood's up. 
What can he shoot at? He can shoot at this thing. And... Even Deadeye is guaranteed to hit, so that seems like a, a better choice. And then I'll have him move. Someone else can finish off the machine. I need a better angle. Don't stray too far. Maybe sticky grenade the brute? I don't want to let my people cluster up too much because of the codex. This is clustering with terminal, though. So this is probably not any worse, I guess. Sticky bomb, out! What? Did he blow up Godmother as well? I don't think it's fair that he was allowed to run there. But okay, that was a pretty sick sticky bomb. Um, seems like a good time to flashbang the codex. Flash out! One hell of a distraction. And then, um... Can you subdue the machine? No, okay. But it's good cover. On the move. Wow, that's a cool workspace here. Is that what that is? Or is it like a storage area that's been overgrown by something weird? Clearly it's overgrown by something weird, but I can't tell if that's like a workspace or, or what. I can't shoot it?! Okay, well... <laughs> that seems a little unreasonable to me. Let's maybe team up with Claymore, give him another go. Oh my freaking... Are you kidding me?! I forgot that this chair is not the machine. <laughs> and anyone else who teams up doesn't get to go ahead of the reinforcements coming in. Oh, I feel so silly. I could have just moved here, but I was like, oh no, I want the high, I want the high cover. Uh, like this is slightly worse high cover because someone could walk down here and shoot you. This is a little more protected. They have to come all the way back here. That was my thinking. But I forgot to check the target preview and that this would take me... Yeah, okay, what a blunder. I mean, this is the kind of thing where I feel like it wouldn't be so unreasonable to reload because this isn't an action that you would take if you understood the rules of the game properly, right? You know, the game should explain itself better to you. What about a scattershot? Nope. Ah, disgusting. All right. Well, we'll just we'll just eat it, I guess. Um, she already has three ammo somehow. Has she not taken a turn yet? I guess not. Oh, she did a an alpha strike to do nothing, and then. Okay, well, we can overwatch here. That's something. For better tomorrow. No one came in through there, though, huh? How did they get here? What? Man. It says clear chemical storage, so I actually do need to kill these guys. I'm not just evacking, making this blunder even worse. All right, 
Godmother. We probably want to safeguard Godmother. That should be one action. Just get the heal in. Need a little help? Good thinking. And then shooting at pretty much anybody is reasonable. I didn't know they were explosive barrels. How was I supposed to know they were explosive barrels? Are you kidding me? This is such BS. Like... Weapons running low. The game is not explaining things very well, and that that I don't appreciate. Um Alright, probably worth taking this guy out, right? Who's flanking me back here? This guy. And here I'm being flanked by guys back here. Sure. I'll keep an eye out. Check your zone. Okay, what do we need Claymore to do? We do have a shrapnel bomb available. And it goes before everyone except this Thrall. Unfortunately, the Thrall is up next. So... Move up here and shoot at him, maybe? I'd love to blast this Codex. Yeah. I've got a pretty bad shot over here. So I think I'll just... Take the shot on the adjacent codex. Good dodges. Alright, so what does Godmother need to do? We don't really need to kill this device anytime soon. The reinforcements aren't coming for a while. Codex is coming up soon, so... That would be a good thing to do. We could subdue it. She still hasn't used any ammo. Where are the hostiles out here? Back there. So there's no good place to stand next to the codex that keeps Godmother in actual safe cover. This cover is sort of questionable, because the guy could easily flank us. Um, yeah. Maybe it's not that important to get the subdue in. I don't know. Godmother's doing fine. She can take a hit. Also, she's got the safeguard, so that's something. All right, so we have four rounds to get one shot on this machine. Is now the time with Terminal? I think so. She's the one with the weakest gun, and someone else wants to kill this thrall. Gotta get moving. On the other hand, she's also the one with the gremlin, <laughs> so maybe I should have used safeguard. But, like, nobody's gonna die from this, right? Blue Blood might, actually. Or even Claymore could. Yeah. I should have just had her stay where she was, safeguard someone, and then shoot the machine. Oh, there goes Godmother's safeguard, by the way. 
what a terrible plan that was. That guy's psionic suplex. I don't know, it's not the worst, but wouldn't have just shooting him been better? Oh, he's out. He needs to reload. Yeah, okay, we'll just flashbang this guy. Hey, you! And Claymore should be able to kill this thrall, so we'll just reload and shoot the machine. Good to go. I am low on ammunition. I wouldn't worry about that, Claymore. Just uh, get a nice clean shot. Traversing. With your last your bullet, and you'll be totally fine. No misses, please. Good, good, good. Oh, that's scatter shot. I thought it was a safeguard. I thought we had the other guy. Oh, this is a good time to ventilate, right? Finally use some ammo. It's a guaranteed kill, right? So no need to do anything weird. Okay. Mission went fine. Made some mistakes for sure. But, uh... Nobody was badly hurt. And we got max intel, so what else could you ask for? Hostages rescued $65? I don't understand. What did I do that counts as rescuing hostages? It shouldn't just be a bonus reward of this mission, so it would have told me about that on the screen. On the, on the mission select screen. I assume it was related to stopping the hostage taker in the second encounter, but... How? I didn't, like, do anything in particular. I just killed all the enemies. There was someone labeled a hostage taker, but... I didn't do anything to that person, and they didn't do anything. I don't understand. Well done. Progeny's psionic development program is no more. Oh. Is our... So, I believe this means a, a takedown is the final stage of a faction campaign. So I believe this next, next time we do a story mission... Like, not one of the ones where you say, oh, speed up the story mission, but the actual story mission itself. I believe we'll end our campaign against the Progeny, and then we'll go take on another, uh, another faction of criminals. That's cool. Wow, the scroll wheel doesn't... Oh, it did. It does work. But it didn't when I first scrolled. Like, something else had focus? And then I, I clicked this, and now it does work? I don't quite understand. Obviously, just some weird UI thing. Continue. So let me double check, is that true? The the tallest building in Old Town. From there, they have a view of the entire city. They're assembling a strange device up there. This must be their endgame. Yeah. Take down the progeny. Cool, so... Oh, can I just do it? I don't have to do any more revealers for it? Well, we're not going to do it this episode, but... Uh, cool, we're almost done with uh, the first dudes. The progeny. We got some promotions to work on. Cooperation. Terminal coordinates with a nearby unimpaired ally to grant them an immediate bonus action. Seems pretty good. Um, three turn cooldown on giving someone else a turn. So, bonus action. Not a bonus turn. Bonus action. So, it takes one of her actions and it gives someone else an action. That's obviously neutral on actions, but I assume it's good in practice because, like, shooting a gun is a pretty valuable action, and terminal um, can still fire after this. But also, like, it, it allows you to be very flexible about what happens when, right? If someone has a really good flanking position, terminal can give them a second shot, 
which is much better than whatever action she would whatever she would do with her first action even if she doesn't like say she does like safeguard cooperation for example right that's just like she could have she's spending her turn on shooting as someone else and that's not like obviously better but they could be in a much better position uh, so I can imagine it's better often blue blood has phase lands fires it in a straight line blast ignores line of sight and is unaffected by cover bonuses so i get the impression this is like not aimed at an enemy but aimed in a direction and hits all enemies in that direction but maybe not maybe it just means you can shoot at enemies even without line of sight and the first one it hits takes damage i don't know And what's, what are the new training options they got? Um, terminal can train to get one more utility item slot. I don't think we're using any slots on her right now, so probably not. Oh, whoops. And um, blue blood was the other one? Crit chance increased. Seems good. He hits pretty often, so crits are nice. Right now, everyone's kind of busy. So we're not going to do that. Uh, we could upgrade a... F well, okay. First of all, let's quarantine this place. Well, let's double check. Are we going to go do this takedown mission next? That makes a difference to what we uh, where we want to quarantine. So this last stand, we get some Illyrium. Like, who cares? And over here, we get some Intel. Yeah, it seems pretty valuable. I don't know exactly what happens when you do a takedown, but it seems like that should be pretty good. Um, on the other hand... On the other hand... Our bonus of minus three City Anarchy is kind of being, like, wasted by taking these guys down right away. And I bet... Like, the next story group will be more difficult. So we could consider letting the progeny rampage for a while while we grind out some uh, some side missions. Uh, the idea being to grow more powerful thereby um, and take advantage of the City Anarchy uh, bonus we're going to get. None of these seem that great, is the thing. I don't know. I guess we'll think about it uh, next episode, huh? Yeah, I don't want to spend forever just staring at this thinking and not doing anything. So, that means that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.